time for a stupid looking boss. Just me. Everything that bores me. Starting with you. Get out of my sight. It had to be done. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. All right, this is it. Welcome to the first boss fight of the game versus Shadow Yosuke. We're gonna have to take this grizzly down, Creed. Oh yeah, totally. I wonder if you caught my pun there. Anyway, um, yeah, I I did. That's why I, I just tried to uh, The major, um, the major strategy with this boss is actually quite simple. Um you want to do is when uh, he guards, you guard as well. Um, uh, any other time that you can attack him, cast Zeo, because that's his weakness. Um, and then uh, when Shadow Yosuke charges, uh, attack with Zeo, and then guard. Uh, that's pretty much the basic strategy for this. Um, so there you go. So I'll go ahead with this and uh, Creed, why don't you explain uh, a little bit more about what exactly Shadow Yosuke is. Oh god. Explaining. It's... Hey, let me see the fight first, boss. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yosuke represents the magician of the ma major arcana, numbered one in the French tarot. Is that how you say it? Tarot? Tarot. Tarot? Yeah. Oh yeah, Tarot. Like Tarot cards. Yep. Uh, only being succeed succeeded by the Fool, which is of course, uh, you. Which is zero. Uh, the Magician points to the talents, capabilities, and resources at the queer... queer... <laughs> it still makes me laugh. Don't the think it's pronounced that way. <laughs> oh. Queer it's... Disposal. Okay. Anyway. Uh, it represents one's ability to tap into one's full potential. Uh, it turns possibilities into realities rather than holding back. Uh, well, that was totally in like those those little things. So it was, never mind. Um, especially when there is a need to transform something, there are choices and directions to take. Guidance can arrive through one's own intuition or in the form of someone who can, who brings about change or transformation. I probably just read that totally wrong, <laughs> but I don't know, because I forget. Anyway. Anyway, uh, Yosuke's shadow represents a reverse magician, or reserving oneself completely and never realizing your full potential and taking a passive approach on life rather than an active one. Pretty much being like how he was saying it before, how he really didn't give two shits. <laughs> about like anything but possibilities become jokes empty promises rather than true visions of what could be um, his shadow despises the change in his life from an active city boy to a boring rural civilian and he took it upon himself to become interested in Saki Konishi to garner at least a little entertainment after the death of Saki Senpai, uh, his shadow found excitement in the idea of using her death as an excuse to go on an adventure. And that's pretty much all of Yosuke's shadow details and um, Yosuke's arcana. So. Right, and then I can go on to explain um, the idea behind shadows. Um, what a lot of people don't seem to understand is that shadows aren't necessarily the true side of someone. Um, a shadow represents one side of a person. They're the little head, the little uh, voice in the back of your head that you regret um, is even there. That's the side of you that you try to repress and push away. Um, they're not necessarily... Um, they're not necessarily even that. Um, Shadows, when they're manifested, actually are very exaggerated. Um, so, 
Yosuke probably doesn't feel this strongly about it, about this situation, but he probably is bored with his life, and he probably does like the idea of about an adventure, but he's prob- but you know, he- he's not going to- he probably doesn't think of, you know, Saki's death as an excuse, um, to do the adventure. It's- this, that's the exaggeration being brought upon by the manifestation of the shadow. So, people tend to think uh, that shadows are the true side of someone, but no, they're just one side of you. And uh, with that, wow, we've. I didn't think I took us so long that you would like finish it so fast. We've defeated Shadow Yosuke. And the first boss fight <laughs> of the game. That, that pretty, went pretty well. Then again, it's an easy boss fight, so. Yeah, it's, it's really. Like, it's really pretty easy. I only needed to use um, one. Uh, medicine and that's because I did not cast Rakukaja. I'd actually recommend casting Rakukaja at least once during that fight. So I don't think I ever did. Actually, it's it's, it's alright. It's a good idea because it raises your your defense. And you should be at level four by now if you're uh, playing on normal. I don't know if they if I don't know if experience changes at all between difficulties, but I have no clue. Like I I've only played on normal. I've never played I have no idea. Expert. I played on beginning, I don't know, I didn't notice any difference. And we learned Rakunda! Rakunda, I believe, increases your attack for three turns. Rakunda. How you doing there, Yosuke? I, I... He kind of looked like he was taking a nap. <laughs> Yosuke, are you okay? That or he was dr passed out drunk from drinking one of these kegs. That's a possibility. Don't worry, Yosuke, I'll help you carry this one out. Gluh, 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 gluh. There, it's lighter. Okay, Yosuke, no. you, you, need, you need to do something about this, otherwise it's going to happen again and it's just that, not going to Yeah, be that's what you said last time, and look what happened. So, you no. Know, let's try something different here. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. Everyone's the same inside. Um, I actually kind of like I, I actually kind of like you're still yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're still you, even if this shadow says things about a side of you. Don't forget that you're still you. You haven't changed. Mm-hmm. Myself. to face yourself. That's one of the hardest things anyone can do. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. I know, that kicking balls was kind of tough. Well, yeah, that too, but... <laughs> All of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Disco Ninja Frog! I, damn it. <laughs> I, was, I was about to ask if I could say it because cause it, it seemed like an important part. Nah, you got the. You, you go ahead and take you it. You got the tutorial fight reference. Fine. Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships, the persona Jidaya. This is the person. <sighs> Why you gotta make the obligatory Naruto <laughs> reference? Why? <laughs> It was asking for it. When we heard Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? Oh, don't Can worry, Yosuke. Out? She wasn't even that hot. Jeez, yeah, she had granny insane. hair. Come on. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. 
Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked? They probably got that sappy music here? playing in the background that I love so much. Like how it just happened. The to nice me? piano music. Yeah, I love that song. Which is the song is actually uh, called um, "I'll Face Myself." Kind of is it? Oh. Yeah. I think so. I freaking love that song. The shadows here. Were I love like every song in this game. Humans. I actually don't think that they're playing "I'll Face Myself" right now. Sometimes the oh, really? clock clears, then like, they I all go can't really hear because of headphones on, but I don't think they're playing that right now. They were playing no. it. You saw what happened now. Oh. They are. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows. Can't wait till we get to host. one dungeon or one place. So, when the person's shadow emerges and the fog lifts, it attracts all the other shadows in the area to it. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. So you gonna let us out? Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district, and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. Hmm. Uh, uh, well, it wasn't really the world that killed them. Uh, so, yeah. And we've pretty much assumed it's the same for them, so we can just stay quiet and let them talk. Mm hmm. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Ah, uh, Yosuke. Berserk. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble. We're really gonna have to talk about this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, you were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? I think we got ourselves a game. Dude. I think we I think we got the plot. So Yeah. Can't say We should save people. Seems to be the case. We need to find the culprit. We might as well try. <clears throat> um no, We do need to find the culprit. We did promise Teddy. Yeah. We need to find the culprit. Ace Detective! Ace Detective! We need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Uh, 
Uh, Didn't we understand like before we came here? Too? What is it, Teddy? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? Well, you see, Teddy, when one mascot and another mascot love each other very much. You don't even know where you came from? How should we I know? totally stole that. I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. Well, to be honest, yeah, whatever. Well, let's go. About it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Oh, don't look so sad. We'll be back. We made a promise. Yeah. Yeah, we made a promise. We, def we definitely did. I'm not... I'm... You keep your word? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time so we can meet up. In the same place. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. Oh, so the you uh, might show up somewhere I couldn't the, get to. Uh, then you the point at which you doomed. enter from the TV is also linked to where you enter in relation to this world. Mm -hmm. Got it. Otherwise, you'll be doomed. Well, pretty much. All right. Can you show us the way out? We're doing. Roger that. One exit coming right up. Stomp that floor, Teddy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any empty. I still don't really get this whole there. leaving thing. Like, do we go into one of those? Yeah, I guess so. Like, it's gonna be hard to fit in there. Well, they're bigger than our TV in our room, True. but not as big as the Juness TV. So yeah. it might be a little bit. Maybe I'm just too used to the Juness TV. Maybe yeah, it might be a little uncomfortable. We can definitely get through. Okay, go, go, go! Squeeze. I don't know about Teddy. Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little! Ugh. He's stuck in there forever. Back home. Oh, back home. oh shit! shit. Chie. <laughs> I completely forgot about Chie. You guys came back. Don't cry, Chie. Huh? Chie? Whoa! What's with that face? Yosuke, not the best thing to say. Uh. Ow! Ow! The nerve of you guys! You are such morons! I can't believe it! Just leave that there and she'll I keep doing that know. over and over again. It's like she's trying to learn Soldier Boy or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, now Akami's totally just staring at her like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> the rope got cut off! Gotta and wonder I what the people in the store think. Do. There it is Damn again. It. <laughs> Soldier boy. Like this whole conversation is a dance. Soldier boy up in that hole. Oh man. I hate you both. Check out those moves. She she's got it going on. Yeah, well. Hey, we, uh, Let's go we hooked up with her and Yukiko and uh, Teddy. We could go cubbing. Maybe we did go. Okay, fuck it. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Let's apologize to uh. her. I'm completely wiped out. 
I'm gonna go home. You're still gonna leave, even though I said I'm it's agreeing to uh, apologize to Chie tomorrow. Okay, I'm Thank staying. You. I may get some. Yes. Well, see you in the morning. Yeah. See you, Yosuke.